lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash, live from Galilee in Israel. Jacob, uh, there was a question from one of the believers out there. I was speaking with an Orthodox Jewish man who claimed that Moses had been given an oral law. I don't know where to find it spoken of in the scriptures. Does Jacob have a teaching on this subject? Thank you for your question. We've addressed this issue before, but I'm happy to do it once again. We have to understand that what is today called Judaism is not biblical Judaism. It is not Mosaic Judaism. It's not real Judaism. It is Rabbinism. Talmudic Judaism is Rabbinism. It is not scriptural. He is coming from a position of belief in what is known in Rabbinism as Torah Be'al Pei, Torah Be'al Pei, the oral law. And it is very easily demolished with one passage from the book of Joshua, chapter 8, verse 35. There was not a word of all that Moses had commanded, which Joshua did not read before all the assembly of Israel, with the women and the little ones and the strangers who were living among them. It was all written down. It was not Torah Be'al Pei. It was not oral. The premise of rabbinism is that God gave the oral law to Moses on Mount Sinai in addition to the written Torah. This is absolutely contradictory to what we read in the book of Joshua, chapter 8, verse 35. It cannot possibly be true unless the book of Joshua is false. Now, Orthodox Jews would not be able to say the book of Joshua is false, so they're left with a dilemma. It is total rubbish. They may have pill pull or some kind of extra scriptural rabbinic traditions to try to explain their way around it, but a plain and honest reading of the text of Joshua tells us there was no oral law. There was no Torah Be'al Pei. It was all read. Every word of it was read by Joshua. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But... In this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation. 
culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast. Shadows of the beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed for the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.